to another YouTube video. I'm really excited to be here filming with you guys. Um, we are in a change of scenery. And we have ghosted my social media for about a month now. Um, we are in college. We're in Newark, Ohio at a branch campus of OSU. And life has been so crazy. I have not been able to think of any content. Um, it's been hard to have, make time for it or due to the change of schedule and always having people around. This is a, my time usually in the mornings. On Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I got out of my 8 a.m. where all my roommates are kind of gone. So I have five of them. And so everyone is just kind of either sleeping or still in class. And so this is my time. So I want to welcome you guys back. I'm so excited to be filming. Um, based off the title, we're going to be trying a day of eats from the dining hall. Um, a little background for this. Uh, video is I have really struggled with my eating these days especially in college not only the changing of schedules and finding time to eat but finding healthy options our dining hall they try their best they really do but I've it's been super hard to admit and I want to make this video not only for myself to hold myself accountable of eating but for someone else out there who's really been struggling um, I've been on kind of a binge type pattern and I really am trying to get over that and I realized I have a fear. I have this unknown fear of ordering from the dining hall and I don't know why. So we're getting over that fear today. Um, I'm not sure what the rest of my day is gonna look like because I have four classes and so the schedule gets kind of busy. <coughs> but um, this has been a ride college I've been here for a little over a month um but I'm gonna try to film what I'm eating and you can just eat with me my thoughts on my food or just a little time lapse of me eating because sometimes you know that helps some people but I'm ready to break out of this mental habit of having fear foods and it's been hard because I haven't had an appetite because I've been sick. And so, you know, food, my relationship with food, it's been hard to admit, but I am slowly falling back and I really want to get on top of it. So I hope you're excited to watch the video and come eat with me today. We're going to try some new things from the dining hall. Yes, they may not be the healthiest, but it's a day of overcoming a lot and I'm super excited. And it's also a rainy day, so... Maybe this will boost my mentality a little bit, but I hope you enjoy. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and know that you're loved. You're not based on what you eat and food is feel. So come eat with me today. some honey and peanut butter because it looked really bland. I have a <laughs> this fake egg. It was super interesting to me when I saw it, so I was like, why not? And then I have some breakfast potatoes, and I'm really excited to try it all. This morning, I drank black coffee with some almond milk, and yeah, so I'm just going to do a time lapse because I have some homework. And I kind of want to really just be in tune with eating, I guess. I don't want to be distracted. So um, I'm going to work on some stuff. And let's just try it all first. Let's just do a little full rating and how things go. I also have H2O because water hydration. But my phone's probably. 
up that bar in my water bottle, so I'm not gonna drink it right now. Strawberries. Mm. Strawberries are so good. My favorite, favorite fruit. Or pineapple, but strawberries really good. Never go wrong. Also, they're four dollars from the dining room. I said, what the frick? Why are you so expensive? I don't know. Breakfast potato. Oh, those are good. These taste like the ones from Bob Evans. Yeah, they just exactly like they're from Bob Evans. Oh, so good. We're going to try this fake egg. It's like an egg substitute. Don't ask. Don't ask. Let's try a little bit. It's like hard and not an egg. I would give it a 2 out of 10. Oh, maybe. Just because. Kind of tastes like an air freshener. Oh, that's not good. Now we're going to try. Look how thin this is. Now we're going to try this bagel. It's gluten free, so I shouldn't be expecting much. Mm. Peanut butter and honey. And a bagel is literally the best. I don't think you can ever go wrong with peanut butter and honey. So, overall, this is a really good breakfast, except the fake egg. Don't recommend the fake egg. But everything else is pretty good. I might find a different way to get my source of protein in because that is not a way that I want to get it. But yeah. Overall, pretty good one. Also, decided to have a protein milk because I decided I need protein to start off my day because that meal did not have any. So, yeah. <laughs> building all day. I'm just trying to get some work done and staying out of my work because it's been a long day. So now I'm headed to the gym. I'm going to pick up some dinner and then like my snack I'm going to get for tonight and then I'm going to go take a shower, eat. Um, I'll be in the comfort of the after because today I was eating lunch and my friend came over and talked to me and so you know distractions but I hope you guys have had a great day. I've really noticed today 
is the most I've eaten in so long. And I've really noticed a change not only in the way my body feels, but how I'm mentally doing and how I mentally feel about myself. So, I love you guys. I hope you've eaten some good food today. And remember that you're left. And I will catch you guys later. Hello, hello. I'm back. I just got my dinner. I picked it up from the dining hall. I got a bowl with some plant-based chicken, some vegetables, obviously I'll show you. And then later I got a snack of chocolate covered pretzels. Um, I'm ravenous because I worked out and I'm starving, but yeah, I'll show you when I get back. This bowl is so good. 10 out of 10 recommend. I've got my carrot. And today has been a great day of eating. Um, I feel very refreshed and like my body is just so much happier. Um, food is fuel. Sometimes you have to fuel it. Today, I realized how much better I feel when I have fuel. A lot of good realizations today. I feel a lot better about myself. Good day of eating. I'm gonna go hang out with friends. And you know, I don't even feel bad about it. Um, you're beautiful just the way you are. And thank you for eating with me today. I will catch you when I eat my snack. Hey guys, it's me. Oh my gosh, this video is way late. Um, I was meaning to film this little clip last Wednesday before I went to bed when I actually filmed the video, but it is currently Tuesday of the next week because life got crazy and college is just constantly going and crazy. Um, I just wanted to first apologize for how kind of mumbly jumbly the video was. I didn't get to talk as much as I wanted to while I got to eat. It was mostly like kind of time lapses because I know my main goal of the video was to like be able to communicate but Wednesdays were one of my busiest days with four classes so it's kind of just in a rush the whole time also literally just re-watching like I go back on my words so many times where it's like oh I'm just gonna do a time lapse and then I continue to talk and where it's like oh I hope to be able to talk when I eat dinner but then I didn't get to because um you know everything is changing in college like on a daily basis so here i am um i wanted to end this whole day in the um life of a college student eating from the dining hall um little did i know that i think in the i have been okay we're gonna start from the beginning we're gonna get our words right i have struggled being here and managing my diet and I don't think I really explained how tough it has gotten. Um, I, for weeks, it's been hard to find a balance between working out and school and work and social life and my time management. And I was sick and that really formed my relationship with food to get bad again to the point where I was doing my disordered actions. And I don't, like, obviously in the video, it was very, like, emphasized, like, oh, food, food is fuel. But I think that whole day, the reality of it was, it was too overwhelming for me. Because that night, I ended up having a panic attack and completely going into a mental shutdown, which then resulted in Thursday coming around and me just being so mentally drained even the next day and then I had the whole weekend and I went to Columbus and the reality of it is we all um, fall back sometimes and I do have a tattoo that says basically was a symbol that I am recovered but lately I've been realizing that the recovery process is an up and down and I'm living with it and I'm still going to be dealing with it. 
um, until I fully, fully overcome it. And I've realized I haven't fully overcome it. Um, this past week, just Monday and Tuesday, have been really good um, mentally and physically. Sorry, there was a human and I freaked out. But moral of the story is we are getting better. We've talked to our mom about our habits and how we're trying to fix um, the binging. And that's really the pattern I got into was late night, I would get comfortable and hide eating and I would eat a lot, like a lot. I would be embarrassed about it and then I wouldn't eat the whole next day until I binged again. And those are the disordered kind of habits I got into. And so starting this week, I've um, I reached out to a friend and said, you need to hold me accountable. I'm going to send you everything I eat. And um, I have a really big source of motivation now because I am physically able to work out and I don't feel tired. And I definitely look at working out differently. Um, I definitely look, yeah, look at working out a little differently now in the aspects of I, before I got sick and before college, it was to change the way I look, but now it really is just to move my body to make me feel good, and I really have had a whole change in mindset around that, which I'm going to post on my Instagram, a little post about that, just because my mindset has really been influenced, and I have, um another excuse me another profile I, I will put um she has been through everything and she is finally all in and it makes me so happy um the steps she's taking i think her name is mckenna but i'll put her little instagram tag um if you are struggling the moral of the story is every day and recovery is hard and if you're in college it's normalized to not eat or eat unhealthy and there's the fear of the freshman 15 and I want you to know that food is fuel and you need it to live on a daily basis and working out shouldn't be to change your body it should be to make you feel as best as possible and I just wanted to make this little thing and really explain what I have been going through and this whole video is a step in to getting better with eating um not waiting till 3 p.m and uh reaching out and finding people to hold me accountable so um yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed I in the end it was a very overwhelming day and I, like I said I had a really bad panic attack but Throughout the weekend and throughout this week, I've really embraced what works for me and what doesn't work for me. And maybe I went a little too heavy on that day. But there's no, it's never too late to make a change and there's, it's never too late to go get help. And so I just really want you to know if you are struggling, um, you know, you're beautiful just the way you are and embracing that self-love really a huge step in anything in life because you have to live with yourself every day and constant comparison gets so hard but food babies are okay they really are but I just wanted to make this book to end the video and really thoroughly explain everything and enjoy I will be back with more content and make sure you like and subscribe and know you're beautiful and worthy just the way you are Go outside, enjoy the warm weather before it starts getting colder if you're up in Ohio. And yeah, I'll be putting out some more content soon. So excited. Make sure you keep up with my blogs, podcasts, not doing at the moment. Excuse me. But YouTube and blog, make sure you keep up. But have a great night and a great rest of your week. And I love you all. And remember to keep being you and shining your light. And you're beautiful and you're worthy and food doesn't define you. And treat yourself because you only live once. You do. Why spend your days worrying what you look like when you're going to die at some point? Let's be real here. But seriously, love yourself. I love you. And you know, I'm always here if you ever need to reach out. If you know me personally. I love getting to know new people. 
and if you watch this thank you and i hope you took something away from it because i sure did but have a great day and bye bye